Hi, I'm Luke Shervelt. Welcome to another episode of Meet the Gaffer. Here we are in a familiar place, and that is interview against gray. We've got two cameras, we've got the uh, iDirect, and yeah, simple stuff. We've been at uh, the same hotel four years in a row, same company, all these kinds of things. Uh, over the years, we've changed the way we've lit it even though it's the same sort of basic sources, the actual units are a little bit different. So originally we had Kina flows that were fluorescents. Now we're using Kina flows that are LEDs. Uh, in this case, we've got the 850 Celeb coming through a six by of half grid. And then our fill, that's for the key. And for our fill, we've got a daylight HD into two ultra flops. And that's just uh, straight bounce, no uh, book light or anything. And then backlight, select 31 through a snap bag, snap grid, and a scratch, snap bag, snap grid, another select 31. Then on the ground for the gray, two select 41s and a two by two, which are actually freestyle Kino tubes. Uh, and that's all on the ground, giving you, you know, just a, a little bit of uh, gradation on the seamless. But then this year we added color. So we would, each person, ask them questions with the gray backdrop, and then we change out uh, in the background. So this is where it came in handy to have everything on the iPad. So, you know, you're using blackout through an AKS, and because they're all Kinos, that was easy. And then we just have, you know, uh, two antennas on the uh, sky panels that are creating our color. So we had, you know, a couple looks. We we set some some different colors in the background, and uh, we just set those as looks. And then, depending on what people were wearing, how we wanted to go with it, uh, we would bring these looks up. And then, if they were too intense, you know, we'd either add a little white from from the base, or we would just have the color by itself tone the color down, whatever, it's, it was easy. So just a little aside, we've got you know two FF7s. We're rating them at 1,000 ISO, and we have like 17-foot candles for our key. So we're just keeping our light levels really nice and low, which is great for saturated color. Because keeping that saturated color, we're at like 22% uh, on the sky panels, and that's just giving us a real rich color in the background. So. Just a little tidbit. Hey, thanks for watching. We'll see you again next time. Here's Cyrus Amini. He's uh, helping out with lighting. And it was his brilliant idea when we had to switch uh, up, uh, sides of key that we um, do a little bounce with our key instead. So uh, oddly, usually when you start bouncing things, you need more room. But in this case, we had to get the key a lot further back. And so um, through the six by, and now we turned the six by into a bounce. So that's our fill. And then on this side is just the 850 into two, into two ultras. And we didn't really have enough room on this side of the room to, to cut it like we had with the WAG flag. So uh, that was a great solution. And we've got the same quality of light. And that's why you need really good people on your crew, because uh, <laughs> they, they give you suggestions that you may not have thought of. There you go. I'd always heard that you could get richer colors if you used a gray seamless instead of a white seamless. And this was a perfect opportunity because we needed interviews against gray and interviews against color. We worked off the client's Pantone numbers and then went around the HSI wheel till we found what fit.